Well, what uh, former President John Mahama said has two legs. One, that as citizens of Ghana, all of us, irrespective of, par of our party affiliation, have a responsibility to contribute to maintaining the peace and stability of the country. That's one leg. The second leg is that we should not allow anybody to abuse the Constitution and trample on the laws of Ghana when it comes to elections. And therefore, if elections are flawed, we should not accept it. Who can disagree with these two positions? I'm just wondering who on earth or in the universe can disagree with these positions. These are truths. You can't disagree with them. You understand? Now, there's a lot of controversy about this attempt to compile a new voters register. There are all kinds of arguments which have been raised and so on. Today, I want to be very short and very simple. There are three conditions eh, which qualifies anybody to register as a voter are this. One, the person must be a Ghanaian. Mm -hmm. The person must be 18 years and above. And the person must be of sound mind. Three conditions. The Constitution of Ghana does not give the Electoral Commission powers to determine any of these three. You understand what I'm saying? The Constitution of Ghana, the laws of Ghana, does not give the Electoral Commission the power to decide who is a Ghanaian. The Electoral Commission does not have the power to decide who is 18 years and above. And the Electoral Commission cannot decide who is sane and who is not sane. Mm. Hmm? So what the Electoral Commission is required to do is that when other state institutions have determined that people are Ghanaian, eh? mm. they are 18 years and above, and they are of sound mind to register them. What am I saying? It means that when the Register of Birth and Death has issued me with a certificate, which is a testimony to the fact that I am Ghanaian and I'm 18 years and above, the Electoral Commission has no locus yeah. to challenge that. Oh, yeah. okay. The Electoral Commission has no power. Once I come with a birth certificate, what, under what powers would the Electoral Commission decide that my nationality based on my birth certificate is not acceptable? It's wrong. It doesn't have any such power. It has no such power, no legal authority to determine that. Even if we accept the erroneous interpretation of the Constitution which says that they are independent. Their independence is limited to compiling a voter's register. It, is, it, it, has, it is, does not extend to their proving that I'm Ghanaian or I'm not Ghanaian. You understand? So the Electoral Commission should be guided by law. It should be guided by the 1992 Constitution, and everything will be fine. In fact, the Births and Deaths Registry does not report to the Electoral Commission. It is not subordinate to the direction of the Electoral Commission. You understand? Yeah. All the institutions who determine nationality, who determine aid, uh, age, and who determine whether or not we have sound mind or not, do not come under the, the direction of the Electoral Commission. So what are they doing? Master, let's stop here. Well, um, let's stop here. Let me read a few of the messages. Or do we want to add something to no, it? No, no, I just wanted to show that when we say that this is an orchestral plan, Master, people don't even...